Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about this word processing typewriter. Uh, it's called a communicator word processing typewriter. And there's no model number or anything on it. So this is the typewriter or word processing typewriter I used back in the early 1980s. So this was before the time when computers were very popular, you know, or wide scale use at home, for example. So this is before a lot of people had printers and computers at home. So um, this has about 12 kilobytes of memory in it. And basically, it, you do plug this into the wall, and you turn it on like that. Let's see it's on and the bad thing about this thing is that when you use it you can only load one sheet of paper at a time like this for example you put it in there I don't know if you can see that or not there's a little knob you just rotate it get the paper in and as you can see there the paper is coming out like that you just type It's pretty inconvenient to use. Okay, I press enter. It gets it, it goes to the next line and pretty much this is what I typed. Get that out. some gibberish and hello world how are you doing and of course the ribbon is probably like not working good anymore because it's so old just move it down this part is metal right here it's not plastic and if you want to remove the, the ink ribbon you just lift here on the two tabs like that and then you just lift this out the ink ribbon out like just like so I don't know if we sell these anymore but I'm gonna clean this up for a minute okay I just wiped this clean um, I'm gonna put it back in I don't even know if they sell these cartridges anymore These people don't use electric typewriters anymore and use this thing right here to tighten the ribbon. So there's a ribbon that uh, actually this ribbon had wet ink on it. I guess it's dry by now. Today it's dry. Just put it in like that and snap it back in to get it back in. And then tighten it. Get it in like that and it's just I don't know if you can see that or not. There's like little writing. There's a LCD screen right there like that. So if I turn it off, over here there's a... There's an off switch. So I just turned it off. And if I turn it on... This is what happens. Says right there on the top. Use to easy to use word processing feature. 40k display. 12k built in. 60,000 word spell corrector dictionary with find. There it is. I can't believe it still works thing has to be over 
1983, that's when my father got it for me. That's 27, so that's how old. Let's see. That's pretty old. That's pretty old. So 80, 83. About 38 years old. That's that's pretty old. Can't believe it still works. And as you can see, like I like I said right here, this is metal, not plastic. And it even has a carry handle. So I'm just gonna take the plug out. And you just get it in there, basically. Very convenient. You don't have any cable sticking out of it, so I'm gonna put it back in. And just to close the thing. And then there's also a handle here. Let me show you. Right under, underneath, there's a handle that you can use to carry it. It's kind of like a laptop or something before laptops even existed. So yeah, so like I said, the bad thing about using this thing is like when you type line by line like this, you know, on a word processor you can go back, right? You could just see everything on one screen, but here you could just see line by line. And that's one of the problems you had. So if you made a mistake, you know, you just can't erase something like you do on a word processor. That's one of the bad things about it. You can't go back to like the second line after you typed everything out and just correct it. That was a bad thing about it. But this is what we have to work with back in the 19, uh, I guess the 1970s, late 70s and early 1980s, I guess by 1985 and 86, um, home computers became pretty widespread with like the introduction of uh, the Commodore 64, the Vic, I don't know what it's called, Vic 6, Vic 20 or something, Commodore Vic 20, Apple II, um, Apple IIc, Apple IIe, you have the I guess in, diff in other countries you had the Spectrum, the ZX Spectrum and stuff like that. So you had pers these computers which made it easier for you to like uh, use it as a word processor, you know, by viewing the full screen, which made it a lot easier. But back then it, was, it wasn't like that, so. Okay, now I'm back on my computer and I'll show you, you how much more you could do with a word processor versus using a electric uh, or electronic word processing typewriter. So you got many more things you could do like um, using different types of fonts when you print, when you type something. change the size of the fonts like that um, I could do all kinds of things I could um, make this underlined I could ch turn it into bold I could use italic definitely and another advantage is you could type everything out first like this and then you could print it out right on a laser printer or something there's just so much you so much more you could do with a word processor this is a simple word processor you have something uh, 
better like uh, Microsoft Office you could do more like make tables on it and stuff like that you could uh, link a picture to this See, I just put a picture on this and I can print this out. Um, Rampart for the NES. And I can print that out. So there's so much more you could do with a computer, <coughs> with a word processor, using a word processor than you could uh, possibly do with a word processing typewriter or even a typewriter so that's the difference you know that's why uh, that's the reason why um, computers replaced typewriters in the first place and you did have uh, more sophisticated types of uh, typewriters as well let me uh, show you so some of these word processing typewriters were like computers basically take a look at some of them. I mean, some of them even had monitors like that. And you could, it basically functions like a computer back in the 1980s. And this one looks like a laptop. But uh, the problem with the word processing typewriter is that the only thing you could do with it is use it as a word processor. On the other hand, a computer could be used for so much more. So that's the difference. So anyways, thanks for watching. My Ace 1000KS, 1975 signing out.